Good morning, I'm Trish Ponick, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Monday, January 31st. Here are today's top stories. On Saturday, Comcast and General Electric completed their joint venture transaction involving NBC Universal and Comcast cable networks. The new venture is called NBC Universal, with Comcast owning a 51% stake, while GE has 49%. Comcast will manage the venture, and NBC Universal's headquarters will be retained in New York City, and Steve Burke will head the company. TNT gave the closer six more episodes, extending the series' final seventh season to 21 total episodes, reports EW. Beginning tonight, TV One is celebrating Black History Month by presenting Way Black When. The four weeks of programming revolves around a one-hour talk show, Way Black When Primetime, airing at 10 p.m. weeknights, showcasing black pop culture icons from the 70s through the 90s and hosted by different celebrities. Now, additionally, TV One will air movies every weeknight that are decade-specific, such as Cooley High and Cotton Comes to Harlem from the 70s. FX second season premiere of Archer delivered 1.5 million total viewers. And Zodiac Rights sold its one-hour documentary WikiLeaks, War, Lies, and Videotape to a slew of international broadcasters. Further sales are being closed in the U.S. Late last week, CBS Warner Brothers Television and executive producer Chuck Lorre said they were putting sitcom Two and a Half Men on production hiatus due to star Charlie Sheen's decision to go into a rehab center. And Greg Grunberg is set to star in A&E Network's pilot Big Mike. Grunberg will play a plus-size detective with the San Diego Police Department who is a good cop but struggles with dating. And over at TV Land, they've added Rita Moreno, Robert Walden, and Takina Arnold to its comedy pilot, Happily Divorced, headlined by Fran Drescher. And Camille Guadi landed a role on USA Network's one-hour pilot, Eden, about a young hotel staffer who gets a job as the concierge for an elite New York City hotel. And Fox tapped Jeff Stoltz to helm its Bones spinoff pilot, which will air as the series' 19th episode of the current season, cites TVLine.com. Now recently, Michael Clark Duncan landed the role of Stoltz's partner, a tough cowboy philosopher. And that's it for the beginning of the work week. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast, and be sure to check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Ponick. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.